What's up, Snappers? I'm Safin, and I want to show you how to make a spiral staircase with official settings on Ark Survival Evolved. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And Here we go! Spirals starts with circles, and I usually start with a triangle foundation because it points the center of my build, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let's assume this is the center of your build. You can go up from a foundation, snap a square sitting to the corner of a wall, snap a triangle ceiling to the square and then remove the square ceiling. Now you will be able to make a circle in the very center of your build. And this is especially useful if you want to build above a foundation grid, but for the sake of this video, let's go back to triangles. Start with a triangle foundation, a wall to the side, and a triangle ceiling above. I'm always adjusting my hotbar, minding the order of structures I'll place and the amount of clicks, especially for circles. Place another triangle ceiling facing away from the first one, overlap two square ceilings and complete a 2x2. Two two. Then place three fence foundations in this specific manner because they will give you all the snap points you need to make a 24-sided circle. <laughs> Let's talk about ceilings and fence foundation snap points for a moment. When you place a pillar or a foundation and snap a ceiling to them, you get two fence foundation snap points across sides of the ceiling. This only happens in the direction you placed the original foundation and I like to call it the Y axis. You can rotate ceilings with walls to change the Y axis and have fence foundations across the four sides of a ceiling. But none of these matters for the purpose of this video, I just want to make sure some nerds don't lose their shit. What do matters is that ceilings have two fence foundation snap points on every side and we're gonna use the outermost for circles. When ceilings are next to each other, the outer snap point becomes the center snap point. Consistently choosing the outer or center snap point of ceilings will ensure all your fence foundations are distributed equally. With this method, you will only have to choose six snap points. The other team will fall in place automatically. After a circle of fence foundations, start placing a pillar above, a pillar below, and remove the top one. Sometimes you will need a ceiling to support the pillars in the ends of the fence foundations. It can get tricky and clicky, but this will allow you to make a tight pillar circle with official settings. Wow! Then I tried to do what I did for the spiral base, but it didn't work. I was created by the pink halo of rejection, and I thought about starting all over again or even moving to a flatter spot, but... Hey! 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 Wouldn't build flat here anymore, right? And since I did this, I thought I was gonna be able to make the sinks in the air. I did them and I'm gonna show you how. I tried to make a 4x4 four four around the circle, but I lacked foundation support on the corner. So I used the foundation snap points on the stairs to get around it. But I shouldn't have. I should have snapped a pillar as close to those corners as possible. And the fence foundations above would have transferred support to the ceilings. But I didn't think about it. Then I did the same process as before for an outer layer of pillars. I snapped a pillar to every fence foundation, not to the pillars below, snapped a pillar outside and brought it down. This did two things. The pillars outside are snapped to the pillars inside, but most importantly, all the pillars in the outer circle have the same height. Then about 20 minutes later, I was ready to start sinking. So I marked the pillar that doesn't get sunk and started from there. I ended up with this process. Snap a ceiling below the top pillar, a catwalk to the ceiling, a pillar to the catwalk, a ceiling to the catwalk, and two pillar sinks. Then I picked up the ceiling and the pillar stayed there. The square hole. Then a pillar below the last pillar, a ceiling between them, a ceiling to the previous ceiling, and two more pillar sinks. Then I repeated the process until I got the amount of pillar sinks required for each step. Which is this one, you can download the picture in my Discord or pause the video here. Then I brought the sinks into the main circle using catwalks to avoid additional snap points were needed. And when bringing back the top row, I always snap to the previous pillar, not to the bottom pillar. You can double check each portion of the circle like this. And once you have the four portions of the circle done, you can move into the next step. Once you're sure the spiral of pillars is right, you can remove the pillars outside. Since I used greenhouse for better visibility, I replaced every ceiling with tech 
and remove any pillar above them. But before I placed a ceiling above every pillar in the inner circle, which is actually providing another connection between the inner circle and the outer circle. This is a bit overkill, but if you want to build something above the spiral, you don't want to risk it. With official settings, we have to place pillars up until we get this shape. Ceilings have to be placed in a spiral motion to avoid obstructions. I had to add an extra layer of pillars because I wanted two spiral loops for this example. Now the process gets fairly similar to what I did with unofficial settings. Bring ceilings into the center of your build and start floating them with fence foundations. Look below the ceiling and toggle snap points until your fence foundation lands on the outer snap point of the ceiling. And this snap point is crucial if you miss it once your build will fail. I'm using debug structures to make sure the fence foundation is connected to the ceiling it holds and the ceiling below. But you can simply disconnect the ceiling from the pillar. And if it floats, it floats. Keep floating ceilings in the same way until you can't anymore. You're gonna be able to float about 16 ceilings before your next step. Now stand in front of your fence foundations like this and count six fence foundations. Looking at the left corner of the fence foundation number six, toggle snap points until you reach the ceiling you want to float. From now on, every fence foundation will be snapped at an 80 degree angle to a previous fence foundation because that is natural fence foundation behavior. I also wanted to show you that this can be done with any crosshair for visual reference and walking up the stairs. Once you're done with this, you can safely disconnect all your pillars and destroy them. Now I want to talk to you about two things, extending the foundation support so you can build anything above the spiral and some problem solving I had to do because of the official settings. To extend the foundation support, the first thing I did was snapping yet another layer of foundations and pillars. Sometimes I had to do some crazy jigs to have a catwalk next to a pillar and copy that exact pillar snap point. Here the ceiling was not allowing me to copy the pillar so I had to support the catwalk somewhere else. By using some ceilings and pillars I managed to destroy the ceiling that was in the way and copy the pillar. You can see that I tried to do this once more but the wall was obstructed. So I went away from the build and brought a catwalk from the bottom of a double dolphin, destroyed the ceiling and snapped the pillar. Remember that my goal here was to snap another layer to the circle. Then I used debug structures to make sure that every foundation and pillar in the outer layer was connected to the inner layer. But you can always use ceilings above to make sure everything is snapped together. Honestly, I could have snapped a foundation grid to any of the foundations in the circle, but I decided to do something similar to what I did on my spiral base. So I did many more sinks, 24 times, connecting foundations at different heights with fence foundations. And I have a video about that, so go check it out. This process was not flawless and I had to do some reconnections later. Here I had to snap a ceiling to the back pillar and connect it to the next foundation with fence foundations. I also had this crazy the obstruction that I couldn't solve by any means. Turned out that placing a ramp before the stairs did the trick. Finally, I had a red gun accident. And I had only three options. Redo the fence foundation spiral. Forget about this video or bring back the ceilings from the outside somehow. And that worked. Kinda. So I brought the ceilings out of the structure, supported them with pillars to the ground, connected those pillars to the structure with floating fence foundations and disconnected the ceilings from the spiral. I disconnected all the ceilings connected to the spiral and realized that the only way I was gonna do this was by snapping catwalks to the fence foundations. I sometimes ran out of foundation support for some weird reason and had to use more fence foundation floats to do the trick. And after a not so short while, I finished the spiral. Finally, I want to show you another creative possibility with this technique. I asked Stephanie God to help me reskin the staircase and we almost ended up doing a castle. Please have in mind that we reskinned this with unofficial settings, but I'm pretty sure the method I used for the catwalks before would have worked for this. We placed door frames above and a half wall below every fence foundation in the staircase so we could snap ceilings to them. We used an invisible glass wall to support the roof and went nuts with everything else. Stephanie posts pictures of her builds on the main Ark Survival Evolved Facebook group 
and on Reddit. I'm gonna drop links below for you to check. She likes to mix CKFR with vanilla structures and other mods and I think she made an amazing job with this spiral staircase. I made this video so everyone can start using these spiral mechanics with official and unofficial settings. As always, I wanna see what you all come up with. Thank you all for coming, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next time.